the 25th Sunday after Pentecost, year B, from the Gospel according to Mark. Not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for today focus on God's interaction with the fragile nature of humanity, our own tendency to fall apart even as we are coming into being. We start with the story of Hannah. Hannah's son will indeed sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor, even as Eli's sons undermine Shiloh as one of the chief Israelite holy places. But that's all in the future. Hannah's household situation right now is complicated, and even the priest Eli rebukes her for what he thinks is drunkenness. So many elements threaten her before her birth pangs can even begin. And though through the grace of God Samuel is conceived, survives to adulthood, and accomplishes great things, even so, those great accomplishments are fragile. Not one stone will be left here upon another, Jesus says to his disciples. All will be thrown down. Whether Jesus speaks only of the temple or of all Jerusalem, or about the temple of his body, he's indicating the destruction of all things at both the end of the created world and at many points along the way to that end. How then are we who read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest these scriptures that tell us that our world is passing away, how are we to hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering? How do we provoke one another to love and good deeds, resisting the pull of a nihilism that would either provoke us to despair or urge us to eat and drink a double portion because the pleasure of a current lover is worth more than ten children who would invest us in a fragile future? How do we celebrate the incarnation and await with joy the birth of a child we know will grow to adulthood in adversity only to die a cruel death upon the cross. We do all these things, and more as well, even in the midst of war, earthquake, and famine, because we know that the one who has promised is faithful. The rewards give way to sorrows, the lowly exalted, only to be brought low again. Our Lord is a God of knowledge, the God who will weigh our actions knew that the pillars of the earth would topple before he set the world upon them. The God who is unchanging knew the good in what is changing, the good that would come to be in the midst of all that destruction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.